coming out here after 30 years, yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm gonna have something because I'm rich in personality, you know, and uh, I'm rich in love, my family love me, and that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts. Shout out to everybody out there on Team Bank and Pam, man, I appreciate the love. Bam, 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 boom. I appreciate the support. 33, man, 33 years of prison stories, man, I appreciate the love and support, man. Trying to get this thing back on track, man. Big love to everybody who stood by me, everybody who rolling with me through the little turbulence. Uh, man, I'm bumping the road, man. I'm trying to, you know, decide how we gonna how we gonna do this thing, man. We 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 trying to grow this thing, man. But I can't grow it without y'all, man. We got we got to be all in it together, man. And what I need y'all to do, man, is start liking the video and commenting on the video. If not, we in the same position, man. You know, we don't know, and I don't know. I'm assuming y'all don't know, or y'all would have told me what YouTube is doing, man. I don't know nothing about this shadow ban. I don't know why we would be shadow ban. I don't know, but I feel like we should be. We we should be bigger. We should be larger. Our voice should be be heard. You know, these are great messages for these young people out here, man. That's getting into all this foolishness to let them know what awaits them in prison. What type of life they gonna have to live? Um, it's unavoidable. <laughs> Once you go through them gates, man, all these stories that I'm telling you is unavoidable. You know, you gonna be involved in some of them, if not uh, all of them. You know, uh, it depends upon how much time you do. It depends on that. You know, but uh, in prison, these are all actual uh, 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 current events, man. Still going on. I still talk to dudes in prison every day, man. So all these things are still relevant. So, help me spread the message, man. This is, like I tell y'all, man, this is a movement, not a moment, man. So, I appreciate everybody who rock with me. I appreciate all the TBP nation. And when y'all put y'all hashtags, man, like I said, start putting TBP Texas, TBP, uh, you know, New York, wherever you from, represent, man. But put that TBP in front of it, man, to let me know that uh, this is what it is, man. So, uh, that's what we gonna do, y'all. Um, Keep me, uh, keep me, uh, you know, in the game, man, so to speak. Um, with that being said, man, I want to start this story today, man. This is a crazy story. I don't know why I ain't told this story before, but it's a lot of man told before. But I was thinking about this joker, man, just because of somebody that I was talking to. But, man, listen, man, I remember, man, I was young in the game. You know what I'm saying? Very young in the game, man. New in the penitentiary. Um, you know... I got a little bit of that, you know, that that hustle still in me from the street, that flim flam, thinking that I can, you know, come up easy, come up fast, you know, so I gambled a lot, you know what I'm saying, took a lot of chances that I shouldn't have been taking, you know, y'all heard some of the stories, like with the Chucky story, this, that, and the third, putting myself in crazy positions, but, <clears throat> excuse me, it was all the people that had already been in the penitentiary, this being long in the game with the flim flam and the larceny and the skull duggery and all of that. They been doing this stuff, man, and I'm green to it. So, you know, I can remember running into this dude, man. And, man, when when I say, like, personality-wise, it's a joker. You could be around, you'll laugh, you enjoy yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? He, he funny. You know what I'm saying? He talk that talk, you know, acting like he's slick and everything. But, man, he was a straight, straight uncut con artist man flim flam artist when i look back on it you know because oh he always running game always got some last and they always shooting some type of you know scheme of you know trying to get over this that and third and the crazy thing about it is he was a muslim <laughs> he was a muslim man he even had changed his name legally man he had a legally muslim name man. his name was mujahid man <laughs> and mujah man was a tall Dark skinned, lanky dude, man. And you you know the swag, you know the different type of swag. You know he, he was getting some money on the street. He probably was locked up for some type of, you know, drugs or money getting scheme on the street, cause you could tell by his swag. He had still had a little swag, man. He had the designer glasses back then, which a lot of people ain't have in prison. You know what I'm saying? He had the real designer glasses, man. They was called they was the gazelles. He had the big square frame ones with the gazelle on it with the gold trim and all this and all that. So a lot of dudes ain't had any personal glasses in there. Even the dude who wore glasses, they, you know what I'm saying, they left them at home or they got took from them and intake or whatever. How he had them back then, I don't know. But he had them. 
you know, a little bit of jewelry, like ring, watch, you know, necklace, stuff like that. And um, he always talked that slick talk, man. But he was truly a Muslim. You know, he prayed, you know what I'm saying, every day, man. He, you know, he went to classes, man. He studied the Quran, you know. And like I say, that, that was really a part of his faith. But he could not get that flim flam out of him. He couldn't get that gambling out of him. And therein lies the, the, the controversy because that's an oxymoron because the real Muslims, not to say he wasn't a real Muslim because, like I said, I seen him practice his faith. But the real devout Muslim, this on their deen is what they call it, they don't get involved in none of that. The gambling, the, 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 the foolishness, the lasting, the, they don't do none of that. I'm telling you, even in prison, them dudes be on their deen, man. They be so sincere. They not playing. You know what I'm saying? But... Back then, I don't think the community of the Muslims was real big where they had like an iman and somebody was overseeing all the dudes that was claiming to be Muslim. You know, when you got an iman on the compound, you know, and you representing saying you're a Muslim, then you're going to have to live that life or you're going to have to answer to them. That's just how it go. Or you, you can't be walking around and saying you're a Muslim and dressing like a Muslim and representing Muslims and talking that, and then they got an iman on the camp. And because you misrepresent them and they gonna they gonna pull up on you about it. And then when I tell you pull up on you, they they gonna pull up on you about it. And they gonna be, yeah, super serious. You know. So I don't think they had that back then, or they didn't have it on the compound that I was on. You know, so he moved around and did what he wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, he every now and then you'll catch him, he talking, he'll be talking all of that righteous stuff, this, that, and the third. But it ain't gonna be a poker game. It's not gonna be a skin game. It's not going to be a dice game uh, in his vicinity that he's not going to be a part of. You know what I'm saying? Or he's not going to be involved in either. Or he running it. You know what I'm saying? He done ran poker games. He done ran skin games. He done ran dice games. And, and he going to be running it. You know what I'm saying? So he had that hustle in him that he couldn't get out of. You know what I'm saying? How he got into you know Islam, I don't know. But I'm quite sure the gambling was in him before he got into Islam. But... He could not separate the two. He had to always be gambling, you know. So that's how I met him because I was in the gambling situation, you know what I'm saying. I'm playing poker, definitely shoot dice, uh, was learning skin at the time. So, you know, poker and dice was the main thing, you know what I'm saying. And I run into him in them circles. So I done gambled against him a few times, man. He a slick dude. He be talking that trash, doing this, that, and the third. And he always claimed, man, and there was never no proof to this. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he said, start saying it to me because he knew about me. Because I was super in my boxing then. I'm working out. If I wasn't working out, I was gambling. You know what I'm saying? So he used to always tell me he was a golden glove boxer. Da 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 da. He liked that. And dude. And he tall and lanky now. I'm talking about maybe like 6'2, six, 6'3, six, but he's skinny as a bean pole. But he used to throw his hands up and, you know, it looked like he had some form, but dude can fake it. You ain't going to know that until. You know, you step into it or you see him in the ring or you, you know what I'm saying, see him in action, right? But he used to always talk. And that talk alone, <coughs> excuse me, like I say, that'll keep a joker up off you. You know what I'm saying? Because especially a joker that can't fight. So looking back, I think he was more so bluffing and talking that talk like he could really rumble and just to keep them youngins off of him. Because... When you in that gambling scene and you in that hustling space in prison, that encompass danger. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. It's come with the territory. So he knew that. Now, he told that Bethlehem. You know what I'm saying? I know that for a fact. I have seen him with it. You know what I'm saying? He told that Bethlehem too. But he used to always talk that he could rumble stuff, you know what I'm saying, and, and kept dudes all like, I seen him tell a young dude one day, one of the slickest things I heard him say, and, and he really put that on the young dude, man, and made the young dude think about it. And to be true, true be told, if I look back on it, I'm right there with, when this was happening, he made me think, and I know it was impossible, but he made me think because he could talk such a good game, you know them dudes that got the gift gab right. So he was telling the dude after a, a poker game, and we on the yacht. So the dude kept on telling him, he kept on talking about how, you know, he could box and, you know, y'all young jokers be talking all this trash, man, and y'all can't even fight, man. I'm telling you, I knocked one of you youngers out, man. I'm telling you. Woo, woo, woo. So one of the young dudes, which was also a hustler, you know what I'm saying, 
uh, 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 you know, all it goes in his mouth. He was from rich. He was a hustler. You know, little young was hustling. He was locked up for drugs. That's that's his whole mo. Everybody know him for getting money. He was really getting money. So him and Muja used to go at each other all the time, running their mouth because they be mad. One of them mad, the other one not because they gambled. One of them mad because they quit, and it was up. All of that type of stuff be going on. It's a lot to go with that gambling. I done told y'all. So one day they was talking. And I guess the dude Les Les had lost, so Les was more like man, boom, boom, boom. He was talking about him. And Les was like, man, you can't. Ain't nobody going for that. And he told Les, he said, how much money you lost in the game today? So Les said, why? He said, no, I'm saying how much money you lost in the game today? Les said, I lost about about one eighty, one ninety. You know what I'm saying? So he said, round it up about two hundred. Muja told him. Well, if you think I can't box, right? He said, get in front of me. And I bet you that I can untie your shoe and smack you two times before you even touch me. And I'm li listening to this joint, right? And I'm saying to myself, ain't no way. <laughs> ain't no way. I said, man, Sugar Ray couldn't do that in 76. Yeah, he had the fastest hands up on the planet. So I'm looking at him, right? So I'm laughing, I'm laughing, right? So he told me, I'm serious, I'm serious. He said, I go for anybody. That go for anybody. He said, I put that up. He said, I put up 200. He said, now, I'm going to tell you this now. If I can't do it, right, you got to give me 150. If, if I can do it, you know, he said, if I, can't, if I can do it, you give me 150. If I can't do it, I'm going to give you the 200 you lost plus 50, right? So Les looking at him like, man, ain't nobody got time for them games. You just talk. He said, I'm serious. I, I, I got the money right here. I got the money right here. Then he playing it all the way up to the to the hip. Like he really bought that. You know? So I'm looking there, a couple of other dudes looking there, other dudes came over. And he done went and got in his little stand. He told me that go for anybody. That go for anybody. Anybody think they can, you know what I'm saying? Stand in front of me. We gonna we gonna square up. What I'ma do is. I'm going to tap you two times in your face and I'm going to untie your shoe before you can touch my face. I'm telling you, that's what I'm going to do. Y'all think I'm just talking, I'm going to show you. You know what I'm saying? So, the thing about that is, you know, he's shooting so much game and he acting like he's so confident and then he said, I got the money right here. You know what I'm saying? So, it started making your hands spin. Like, hey, man, hold on, did this joker know? And see, I learned... Later, I don't even think I knew at that time, but one lesson I did learn later on, never, ever, ever bet a man what he can and cannot do. Never do that because you don't know what a man can and cannot do because you do not know his capabilities. So if he betting you that he can do something, to be honest with you, whether he can do it or not, it's a foolish bet. It's a foolish bet. Because he know what he can do or not. And then you got to ask yourself. That's where the poker and the psychology come in. You got to ask yourself. Is he willing to bet some money and lose some money knowing that he cannot do this? See what I'm saying? It's a, it's, it's, it's a poker bluff. You know what I'm saying? So you it makes you think. So it's really, it's, it's psychology. Because in all reality, even right now, looking back on it, there's no way he can do that. There's no, I don't care how fast he is. You know what I'm saying? And he definitely couldn't do it with me. You know what I'm saying? But he put the offer out there. I could have stepped up and said, okay, I'll take that bet. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I'm young and I'm like, and he had me bargain like, you know what I'm saying? But I know he can't do that. But I ain't want to get in the situation neither. You know what I'm saying? So he out there talking and he flossing. He's talking about, who want it? Who want the money? I got the money right here. You know, he got all the money in the bag because he just ran the poker game. I got the money right here. What's up? Y'all always talking, I told you, I'm golden gloves, man. Yeah, I'm three-time golden gloves, you know what I'm saying? Two-time silver gloves. Yeah, anybody want to get, just step on up, you know? So Jokers is like, man, what's up? What's up? Let's get him, let's. So Les was like, man, I'm telling you now, I'm telling you now, if I take that bet, I want my money, dog. He's like, man, I'm going to pay all my money. When you ever know, I'm going to pay this. I got it right here. You can get it right here. Come on. What's up? You want to do it? You want to do it? So Les acting like he want to do it, but he don't want to do it. It's the peer pressure. You know what I'm saying? Because Les unsure. 
And that's old dope boy. He don't even look like, you know, old pretty boy dope boy. Gold, light skin, dude, waves all in his hair, talking slick, always with a toothpick. He don't even look like he got no fight in him for real, you know what I'm saying? But like I say, you can't judge a book by its cover when it comes to rumbling. You, you, you just can't do it. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to know till you up in there. You know what I'm saying? Now, I can look at a dude and tell from his stance, the way he holds his hands, if he really knows something or if he imitating, but he can imitate knowing something. I ain't gonna know till I see them jumps flat, but I can look at him and tell if he got a good stance, like, you know what I'm saying? Either he can imitate real good or he knows something. I can tell, you know what I'm saying? So it looked like he knew something or it looked like he, you know, was a good imposter. So I didn't know, you know what I'm saying? Cause I don't really know him like that. But anyway, man, let's say end up taking the jump. He picked up his little bag, talking, talking, talking. But see, that was a psychology play now, looking back on that, because he let that be known to everybody. And so he putting everybody on notice to be in this game and this, that, and the third. Like, oh, y'all think these hands ain't real. Y'all mess with me. And then he psychologically letting them know that, yeah, play with this money in the poker game, man. Don't put hands on you. Plus, y'all already know I took this Bethlehem. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it was psychology, man. It was psychology at its best. So I give him credit for that. But the thing about that is, <laughs> I told y'all all the time, y'all know the rules. If you keep campaigning, <laughs> y'all know the rest, you gonna get elected. Yeah, you gonna get elected. You know what I'm saying? Especially in prison. You know what I'm saying? And, and the thing about it is, you might ain't got to campaign long. You gonna get elected. You know what I'm saying? So, that, that was Mujah's whole thing, man. But like I say, he stayed on the grind. He stayed gambling. And he kept dudes at bay with his slick talk. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, prison, man, you know, it's going to always come down to show, show, show more show than tell. You know what I'm saying? Show and tell in prison is different. It's more like show, show, show. You know what I'm saying? See, you can't keep talking. Somebody going you know, to test you, man. You know, so, uh, yeah, man. And then I can remember I ended up, you know, I'm in the block with Muja. So he always looking for a gamble. He always looking for a gamble. I told this part about this joint one time in my um in one of my videos, man. It might have been the Augusta series. But um, so me and him started gambling. We started gambling, man. You know, we used to have little poker games in there in the part. I used to get into poker games, you know, win a little bit, get out. Woo, woo, woo. So sometimes you can't get enough dudes to play poker. So the dudes that got money, they said, man, man, you go play, man. We play some head up, man. We play this or we play some talk or we, you know, they want to play head up gamble because dude got that gambling bug. You understand? I had that gambling bug. He had that gambling bug. So if everybody ain't got enough to play, he might pull me and want to gamble. I beat him sometime. He beat me sometime, right? So he's still running his game, doing his things out there. But he stayed in controversy too because he'll be arguing with dudes about money. He'll say this this happened or that happened or he'll play the parlays and, or he'll run the parlay and he ain't got all the money to pay somebody. So he always stayed on deck where something might pop off. You know what I'm saying? And... Like I say, keeping dudes at bay only lasts so long. You know what I'm saying? And I remember it was the same thing, man. Him and Les got into it over some money dispute at a poker game, right? So they going at it. They, they, they talk and talk, and then they ended up disrespecting each other, coming out their mouth. Like I say, in prison, certain things you come out your mouth, you can't take it back. Certain things come out your mouth, them fighting words. Other things come out your mouth, that, that Bethlehem words. It's just that's, it, those just the rules in the penitentiary. You can't say anything to a grown man. And then you definitely can't say anything to a grown man that's disrespectful in front of his peers because you putting a target on his back that he's soft. And can't nobody let that go. You got to get busy. You know what I'm saying? So dudes notice. So when certain words come out your mouth, you know these busy words. We got to get busy. You know what I'm saying? So, so to my understanding... I won't right there. To my understanding, they got this popping off at each other, running their mouth, running their mouth, woo woo woo. When the game was old, less saying he owed them this, he saying he don't, he saying you ain't put your cards down right, you ain't call your hand right, or whatever the case may be. Dudes will put a lot of tech in poker game. You can have a winning hand, and then they'll say, you say, say Vince, you, 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 you had a, uh, you got a straight flush. And you say, when it comes time to put your hand in, you say, man, I got a real straight flush. Dude will try to use tech on you and say, no, you said roll straight flush. That means you got to have ace, king, queen, jack, ten. But you might got a straight flush. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know what I'm saying? That's a straight flush, not a roll flush. It's just a small technicality. 
But if you say that, dudes are trying to throw tech in on you and say, oh, you called the wrong hand, you lose. Man, ain't nobody going for that. <laughs> I mean, it's fair, but, I mean, it's true, but, it, 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 you know, it, it, it's flim flam too. Because either way, the straight flush I got beats your hand. So the only reason you're going to try to call tech is just because you're looking for a way out. And that was supposed to be in the, 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 the situation with them. And to be honest with you, I ain't going for that neither. You know what I'm saying? If I miss smoke, I miss smoke. But my hand speak for itself. I ain't going for it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, especially if my hand better than yours. Now, if my hand won't better than yours, so be it. I miss smoke. Woo, 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 I'm going to lose anyway. But if my hand better than yours, and you try to throw that tech in, oh, we throwing hands or throwing Bethlehem. It's just straight like that. I ain't going for that. You know what I'm saying? So evidently, less won't go for it neither. So Les tell me got to get the money. They clean it up. It's time for it to go wreck over. You know what I'm saying? He's saying you ain't getting the money. You know what I'm saying? You call your hand wrong. Woo, woo. So let's walk over to him while he getting all the bags. So he dropped the bag and tell him, hey, back up off me, man. Boop, boop. Let's hit him. Right? So, boom. They say they they tussling. Say, Muja bag up and get in this little joint and let's try to go in on him. And Muja catch him a couple of times. Heck, heck, heck. You know what I'm saying? Like he really do know something. You dig what I'm saying? So they tussling. But then they say, let's scoop them up. Bam! Took them to the ground and put the ground and pound on them. You know what I'm saying? Put the ground and pound on them, man. So now dudes break it up and everything so they won't go to jail because of, you know what I'm saying? And don't nobody want nobody to go to jail. They don't want that to pop off like that. So dudes break the situation up and less, you know what I'm saying? It's like less. You know, took a couple of bumps and bruises, but it's being said like let's got out on him. So that's a damaging blow to his reputation. You know what I'm saying? Muja, you know what I'm saying, took a L. You know what I'm saying? All oh, this joke, he can mumble, he can fight, man. You know what I'm saying? Dude scoop this little butt up and slam him down and pound him out. You know, so that's you know, that right there gonna get ugly, you know what I'm saying? Cause now you know your reputation on the line, you know, you're not gonna be able to move like you use to move, running games, doing this, popping all, popping, cause somebody done call you bluff and you might have looked all right, but you ain't look as spectacular as, <laughs> as you had been putting on. So, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's a dent. It's a, it's a clink in your armor. So, he run around now, you know what I'm saying? Got a little busted lip, you know, little knot on here. You know, Les got the same thing, but he he more in his feelings than Les is. So, he run around like, like he going to put that Bethlehem in Les. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can't come outside, youngin'. You know, and Muja was older than us. I'm young. I'm super young. I'm like early 20s, man. You know, less like about the same age. Muja probably late 30s. You know what I'm saying? So early 40s or something like that. You couldn't really read his age, but he was definitely older. And been in penitentiary about 18 years at the time. You know what I'm saying? All us, to the best of my knowledge, less and me and a couple other dudes, we, we three, four years in, if that. You know what I'm saying? So, um... Yeah, so he told me, yeah, that young can't come outside, I got the hell. But he talking, you know, later on in my bit, I realized, you know, that's that's a little bluff too, because if you don't get a joke, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna want a joke. You, you don't do that in the penitentiary. You don't want a joke. I gave y'all the example a hundred times. Lion don't want the gazelle. Lion don't want the deal. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they mortal enemies. You understand me? So, he like... Doing all that, and then, you know, that brings in arbitrators. Dudes like, look, man, look, man, y'all for a fair and square, man. There ain't no need for all of that, man. Let that go, man. Ain't there one of y'all go to jail. Ain't nobody got to get hit up or nothing. No, no, I don't play that. I don't play that. You put your hands on me. No, I don't play that. I got to have a move, move. You know, and he's shooting more and more stuff. So now, let's... It's like getting wind of this and less like, man, well, I'm a head jump too. But less really, he don't want that. You know what I'm saying? I don't think Muja want it, but he putting on like he do want it. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of other dudes came in, came in, man, and, you know, uh, cooler heads prevail and the junk got squashed and they supposed to leave it alone, which was the best case scenario. That's the best case scenario. It could have went another way, but that's the best case scenario. And, and, and honestly, I think that's what Muja wanted. But I think he still wanted to put out the narrative of if you put your hands on me, I'm going to put this Bethlehem in. You understand? I ain't letting nothing go over put this Bethlehem in. 
You know what I'm saying? There he going on the the, the narrative that they had to talk me out of stabbing the young. You know that sound better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'll go stab him. You don't put your hands on me. I, you know what I'm saying? Straight up, man. But it don't be for all the brothers, man. I let it go, man. But no, nah, no, nah, that can't go down no more. You can't never do that no more. Can't nobody do. You know that's a big saying in British too. You can't do that no more. You know what I'm saying? That's supposed to be your final call, your final warning when you do something or you say something out the way that somebody do something. Man, what you say? Man, you heard about, man, you can't say that no more. Now, if you say that, if you put that gauntlet down, if that happens again or somebody say that again after you put that gauntlet down that you can't do that no more, then you on the chopping block. You got, you, you got to put work in. Ain't nowhere you got to go head on and deal with that. You know what I'm saying? So that's what he was like, can't nobody do, can't do that no more, can't disrespect me no more, none, ain't going for nothing. Like, all that's going to come back up. I'm going to let it go, but if he ever, he can't disrespect me, he can't do none of that no more. All that little back and forth we used to have the game, that can't happen no more, man, because we, we didn't already exchange, you know, physicality. So that can't happen no more, man. Uh, you know, it is what it is, man. One of us got to go. You know, so this is what the narrative is. So they all parties agree, and it's supposed to be all, you know, love now. You know what I'm saying? A week or two go by, they both at the same poker game. Everybody on edge. Probably everybody at the poker game got Bethlehem now. You know what I'm saying? Because they know it's danger out there if they didn't know before. But things go smooth. It go all right. It works itself out. But then Mujahid go in the breaks. <laughs> and you know what we call in the penitentiary the breaks is he go in a losing streak well he just losing 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 so he losing his shirt you know what I'm saying so now more and more flim flam come out of now he going out there getting in poker games can't pay the money he owe other dudes he bond from Peter to pay Paul he giving out fake uh, lies, man, my people gonna send you the money and then the people ain't never do, don't ever get the money. He said, man, my people sent that and he doing all of that. The flip flap coming out of him. A Muslim belt. So dudes are starting to look at him different. Now with all this going on, unbeknownst to me or me being so green and naive, I'm still like, boom, I'm in the block gambling with the joke every day. So then we get locked into, I think he now looking back, like I say, ret all this is retrospective. Looking back, he probably saw me as a young Vic thinking that he can come up on me because he outside losing, right? So he trying to win my money because I got money at the time. So he trying to win my money so he can, you know, fix all of his, you know, little, 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 little problems he got. So we gambling head up every day. Every time we in the block, we gambling. Every time the doors open, we gambling. Man, I started beating the brakes off of him. Man, I was beating the brakes off of him. He started betting all these uh 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 fictitious bets that he ain't got. Man, and the, and the thing about head up gambling in prison, if you lock in, we call it lock in. You locked in, you gamble till a man broke. If he broke, he break you or you break him. So I broke him. He ain't got nothing. He started putting up personal stuff. Now put this up. Uh, uh put this up, man. Put my bracelet up, man. I want everything he had, man. I, when I tell you everything, I mean everything. So much so he started talking foolishness. You know what I'm saying? But I'm young and say, food. man, I, man, you can't quit. I still got some. What you got? You ain't got nothing. You ain't got no more money. You ain't got no more cigarettes. You ain't got no more commissary. You don't got nothing. Man, you you done lost your bracelet, got that. And I said, if you can send me the money, I'm going to get that back. You done. He ain't got nothing. He started putting up his, man, we say everything. I got something what I got. He want to put up his TV. He went, I'm telling you, this is how gambling going. And if I say no, it's like I'm quitting and then we beef. You know what I'm saying? Man, I with his TV, man. He was to put up his shower shoes. He to put up his personal shorts. Then the man want to put up his glasses. He can't even see without his glasses. That's why he got gazelles, because they so thick. He want to put my with his glasses, man. I said, Muja, I'm telling him. Muja, quit, man. You can't beat me, dog. I'm going to give you some of your stuff back, dog. I'm going to give you your personal stuff back. I, I, you can't beat me, dog. No, you ain't got to give me nothing back. I'm going to win mine back. I want to keep gambling. He got that disease. He want to keep going. You understand? Because he wanted thinking that he can win it back. He's not going to win it back. You in the breaks plus, I'm not going to let you win it back. So, man, we go through all this. I tell him, I can get on the phone, man, and get my people to send you 300 and I had 300 credit with you. I said, I'm not going to do it unless I, the money hit. It got to hit. I got to know it's there. Talking ain't going to get it. I want that green. Man, I'm telling you, my people going to send the money, man. What you what you, you think? My people, my world ain't good. You know, all of that, man. We went through it, man. But we ended up getting through it. And it won't no physicality between me and him. And I ended up giving him a little bit of his stuff back. You know, his personal stuff. The money, the commissary, the cigarettes. Nah. 
Nah, you know what I'm saying? And that probably was money that he owed to other people. You know what I'm saying? But that's just the game, man. You got to go through all of this to get to the point where you understand how the game is played in the penitentiary. Now, all these little you know, scenarios, even with me, it could have turned out bad. You know what I'm saying? Because it ain't no doubt in my mind, and I'm not painting that narrative like he was a sucker sucker because he would have grabbed that, that Bethlehem if, <laughs> if push came to shove. But so would I. You know what I'm saying? So these deadly situations, but these are situations I was putting myself in and just being green and being raw and just having that adrenaline to want to gamble. You know what I'm saying? But, man, it was crazy, man. But me and Muja, we ended up being all right. You know what I'm saying? I think if y'all go back and watch the Augusta video, it's going to come up somewhere in there. But we ended up being all right. But Muja was the same. He kept doing the same thing, man. He was gambling. He was hustling. And sometimes he bounced back. He bounced back. And he back on top. Then he got his swagger back. He talking and acting slick like, yeah, y'all can't keep me down. Y'all, man, you, if you win against me, you just lucky. You know, that he had to. He had that swag, man. You know what I'm saying? But as y'all know, you know, I ended up leaving off of, you know what I'm saying, Augusta, man, you know, with the big Raymond situation, man, myself. So I don't know what happened to Muja. I used to hear about him, you know, on other camps and this, that, and the third, little disputes, little, you know, altercations or whatever, man. But yeah, man, he was a character, man. He, he, he definitely was a character that I ran into along the way, man, that I felt like I had to tell y'all about, man. The Muslim flim flammer. You know what I'm saying? And usually that's an oxymoron. You usually ain't going to run into too many of them. You know what I'm saying? But that's what he was, man. You can't get around it. You know what I'm saying? Move job, man. Man, big love for you, man. But you was a straight flim flammer, dog. <laughs> you was a straight flim flammer, man. You know, but, uh, it is what it is, man. But anyway, man, this just was a story to share, y'all, man. But like I say, man, it's a blessing in every lesson. And the blessing is, man, that lesson right there, I didn't have to learn the hard way, but I didn't have to use that Bethlehem, and I didn't have nobody trying to use it on me in that scenario. But I was putting myself in a lot of dangerous situations. And, man, the only thing I could attribute it to is, man, God had my back, man, and he, he navigated my way through those things that I could not see. Because I was blind to it at the time. I just wanted to fill up that space about this emptiness that's inside me because I'm locked up around a bunch of jokers and can't do nothing else. So, yeah, man. But I was putting myself in some dangerous situations. Thank God I came through them, man. But anyway, man. Y'all talk to me in the comments. Y'all know I talk back. I need them comments, man. I, I don't care if you put four, five, six, eight, ten on them yourself. But we need them comments, man. We need them likes, man. So... Y'all, man, uh, help me, man, get this thing where it need to be, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all be safe, be smart, make good decisions. And by all means, man, boom, 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 duck them hooks, man. And duck them flim flammers. They out there and they come in all flavors. Bam. Coming out here after 30 years, yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm gonna have something because I'm rich in personality, you know, and uh, I'm rich in love, my family love me, and that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts.